topic of the video is flow to waste. So let me get <clears throat> now and I want to show you where in my front yard Hey everybody, this is Brent in Central Arkansas. How you doing today? I have got a new way that... Hey everybody, this is Brent in Central Arkansas. Oh, hummingbird. <laughs> today is not my day. And it covers my new way of growing hydroponically that I call flow to waste. It's actually not what I call, it's actually an, a hydroponic method that I want to talk to you about. Hey everybody, is I'm in my front yard and today's topic is photo waste. Boy, I guess they just don't to record this and it's starting to rain too wow okay now these are the only two testers I use a pH tester and a TDS tester those are the only ones I really ever use and I know from experience in doing this many many times over the last two years that when I get the PPMs mixing the master blend properly to roughly 900 the pH is always going to be about 6.2. Sometimes it can vary 6.1, sometimes a little higher, 6.3. Now, the pH tester, last time I checked, it didn't work. I haven't used it in a while. But my water is near neutral. But I will take this off and I'll show you the PPMs. It should be about 50. And there you go. It's at 44. And that's coming straight out of the barrels into this bucket. Now when I mix it, I'm, right now, I want to mix it to about 650 to 700 in the distribution tank over here the distribution 55 gallon plastic barrel that I call a 50 the uh, distribution tank before we add nutrient to here we need to take a base of the existing now it ran out of nutrient very recently so this is going to have some ppms to it and um, I'm refilling restocking which is why I'm making the video but let's take a base so we'll get a an idea of how much each one now I can't see it in film so I'm gonna push the hold button and then bring it up okay it's only 85 ppm so it's almost all water remember the house water was 42 or 45 can't quite remember Now we're full to uh, about 50 gallons. It could go up a little higher before it comes out this tube here, but 50 gallons is good. And this is what the concentrate looks like. We've got 300 gallons of concentrated liquid in about 50 gallons. Now the bubbler is mixing it, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of a head start with the mixer too. Now put the lid on and I'm going to cover it. Now remember the RV pump's getting replaced with a hydroponic pump probably tomorrow or the next day. Now to get a precise mix, the hose coming from the pump here goes to a Y. The left part of the Y goes back into the barrel and that generates a little bit of turbulence, helps keep it mixed and aerated a little bit too. But more importantly, it controls how much 
uh, goes in, it lets the pump operate full capacity because the full pressure can either go down this way or this way. If I just had one and I constricted it, the pump would work hard trying to push it out. So I've got the Y, it'll come out here and it'll go down here. Now I can constrict going directly down the line and I can constrict opening up here. Anyway, this is what controls how much of the nutrient goes in to properly mix the ratio from the distribution 55 gallon drum up there. So right now let's do a one minute test since we already know the uh, the uh, PPMs are around, I can't remember 60 something. So anyway, let's do that. And to do with this timer, you should, to do a countdown, you do the negative. You do you set for the minutes. I'm going to do it for one minute, and then I'm going to count down. So right now, this pump is activated. It's going to put one minute worth of the nutrient that we just mixed into that distribution barrel. Let's go look. Okay, this black hose used to run directly into the lid here, but since making this video, I drilled a hole here and put it directly in. And you can hear it dripping right now. We don't know if it's the correct amount yet. Let me see if I can bring in here without ruining my camera. So you can see. See it's coming in there? Now it's falling into here, which is also, as you can see here, filling from the float. When it gets full, this float will lift and it'll cut off to the barrels. And this will have a full, complete mixture before the next distribution goes off. Distribution pump goes off. Okay, the bubbles have been mixing the nutrient uh, together in here. So let's see what it's at right now. It's right at 320, 317. It's going down a little bit. Probably going down because I'm right in the bubbles. Okay, so it still hasn't quite stabilized. But anyway, we're close to 300. And I will fiddle with that Y up there until I get to the 650, 700 range. Because that's what the plants need. Okay, what you've got here are the two timers. Because timing is really important in all this. The timers, I think they were like 10 bucks a piece. Uh, and I can get you the link if you want. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, um, you can see here they're on the same time, 702. This is the one with the plug is to the distribution tank. And I took the plug out of the waste tank just uh, so you'll know the difference. Okay, so the first time it comes on is at 11 o'clock in the morning. And it runs to 1104. Now this goes to everything in the greenhouse. The first time the waste tank comes on is at 11.15, 15 minutes after this one, for two minutes, and that goes, that pumps out to the no weed garden or to any waste area that you choose. Now the reason why this does is this goes on for four minutes, it distributes to all the pots, okay? Everything in the greenhouse. Everything in the greenhouse gets fed, it drains back into the waste tank, this time difference gives the waste tank time to full up, fill up 15 minutes and this waste tank cuts on for two minutes instead of four. And the reason why the waste tank only cuts on for two minutes instead of four is because the plants use roughly uh, twice as much as what gets pumped out to waste. That's a rough guess. I'll, I'm still tweaking it a little bit but the ideal thing is where you get almost no waste at all. Now the second time it comes on, you see 11 to 11.04, is at 1600 or 4 o'clock p.m. to 4.04. And the same thing happens over here. 11 to 11, 15, 11.17, 4.15 to 4.17. So this is 15 minutes behind this and it only comes on twice a day. That's all. Now we're back to the super concentrate tank. For the last timing part of this, this timer is set off to go at 11.07 for one minute to 11.08 and then from 4.07 to 4.08. It coordinates with the other distribution and waste tank. So when the distribution pumps, it automatically starts filling from the storage bills. At the same time, a minute worth of nutrient gets pumped to it. 
at the shortly after that the waste tank uh, drains and fills and then the uh, waste tank pump pumps out to the waste or any other place you want to pump it in my case the no weed garden that is pretty and by the way this tape is just to keep the LCD covered because they tend to do weird funky things if they're exposed to Sun for a long time learn that the hard way okay you can see the uh, RV pump is off and I held off on doing this video until I did this part this is the 396 eco pump that I got and I am about to put it in here now to wrap it up it is got it's got a paint strainer around it that's to keep debris from getting in and I think this will work real good for me well, everything's done all I have to do is put the that's a curtain actually but uh, put the curtain over to help knock out some of the sun so I can get this thing painted or switch to a 55 gallon drum but the 396 is down in the nutrient and I have the Y up here zip tied going to return back into the tank here and this goes to the distribution tank so guys that is it for the flow to waste and how I'm doing hydroponics you can see here that the foliage is beautifully green you don't need super high concentrations of nutrient hydroponic nutrient going to these plants they grow fantastic without all of that and they don't need to be watered all day long if you do it this way in fact if you look up at this squash this has been without water since before i went on vacation and that was over a week ago so that squash in this heat has lived off of the contents uh, the moisture and nutrients that was in there and it still looks good I was curious this is one of the carnival squashes I'm growing and I have too many I was curious to see how dry it is now because uh, this wasn't planned this was supposed to just die and I was supposed to get rid of it but still looks great and uh, they're still doing great now the moisture it doesn't well I get about finger depth and there's still some moisture down in there anyway so I'm very pleased with everything, everything and how it's growing. So uh, I guess that'll uh, that'll do it for this video. Flow to waste, how I'm doing hydroponics now. Yeah, I can always change. I often change. But uh, this is Britt, Central Arkansas, you guys. We will talk to you soon. Hey, also, talk to me. Send me some comments. If you don't agree, if you do agree, I don't care. You won't hurt my feelings. I want you to talk to me. I want you to subscribe if this is your first video. I want to grow some some of the people, some followers, some some have some more discussions, and uh, yeah, let's have fun with this.